I still remember when I found out that I had won Player of the Year. My team, we were out for lunch, we were traveling to go play, and my coach pulled me aside and said, hey Jen, look, you won Player of the Year. And at that point, it never really hit me, right? I didn't really understand the full picture of what it all meant. Looking back now, though, I am so thankful that that kind of shows how much effort I put into this college and my sports and my um, academics and everything that goes along with it. But I don't remember my experience based on that award. I remember my experience based on my teammates and everything that we were able to accomplish together. Well, when I first started recruiting Jen, I saw her play in a couple tournaments early when she was like sophomore summer and junior summer. And the first thing I noticed was her athleticism, uh, her speed home to first, and, and she hit a triple to left center, and from home to third, she was a great athlete. So then a little further investigation, I found out she was a great student as well. And then I had known after the recruiting process got going a little bit, I found out that she was also being recruited by some Division I schools for volleyball. Jen not only made me a better player, but she made everyone around me, around us, better players. She would always want the best from everyone, and she demanded the best from everyone. That was one of the biggest things about Jen, and you wanted to give her your best because she was so easy to follow, and there's not many people like that in sport. There's not many people that you can just look at and be like, yeah, I want to follow this girl. I want to like do what she wants and make sure this team is great because I respect her so much and that was one of the big things about Jen. Honestly one of the rarest most amazing people you ever meet. Just selfless in all sorts of ways and she she's really amazing I wouldn't replace her for the world. Um, that is a common question that I've always been asked. You know, what is your favorite sport out of volleyball and softball? And to this day, I still cannot tell you. Um, with my experience playing both the sports here, um, positive, both experiences, um, I love the fact that I could go from one season to the next. And, um, you know, obviously I always think about would that off season have helped me grow stronger in one of the sports if I would just would have played one. But having the opportunity to play two was one of the biggest reasons why I came to Minot State and um, I would never be able to choose one or the other still to this day. Moving from NAIA to Division II uh, required so much more, I don't know how to say this, I wouldn't say more commitment, but um, you know it required every single person on both teams to be locked in, ready to go at all times. Um, that competitiveness and that intensity going to the next level really changed. Um, Having that one year transition year was tough, but I think it really helped prepare not only volleyball and softball, but every other sport as well to make that leap into the next division. And I'm um, very thankful that I had the opportunity to play Division II. But, uh, I have no regrets coming to Minot State. Minot State was one of the best parts of my life. Um, I spent five years here and I call it home. Um, I just recently came back from my first alumni event and it's crazy to be on the other side of it. Um, but I'd say that the culture that they have developed here in this program and this school and the athletics and academics, um, it's crazy. You know, I didn't know a lot of people for this alumni event, but it felt like I had known them my entire life, and that's what they do here at Minot State, and um, I don't look back with any regrets. I was very thankful to be a part of both volleyball and softball and meet the people I got, had a chance to meet, and it's just been an amazing experience that I look back on and I'll never forget.